actually lost both parents to HIV. So HIV is very much uh, a part of my, my past. And I remember thinking to myself that I'm going to be a doctor and I am going to learn all that I can about this, this thing. We had no idea what was going on because it was one of those unusual situations in medicine where everybody is dying, but you have no idea why. I want my grandchildren to come to be brought up in the same AIDS-free generation that I, this old guy, was brought up in. HIV is not an Indian problem, it's a global problem. Everybody needs a vaccine. An HIV vaccine is the only chance of the end of the AIDS epidemic. It will change the lives of millions. It's time to stop it. And so to me, this is the way we can do it. So I'm happy to be part of it. This is our life's work. We don't come here for to have something to do and get a paycheck. We come here to find an HIV vaccine. To be involved in, in HIV vaccine research is a great privilege for me. You feel that you're working on something that's worthwhile. It gives meaning to your life to work on a project that it affects so many people worldwide. The only reason we're spending 90% of our time on trying to make an HIV vaccine is because I believe we can do it. We all need to pull together to work on this problem. Because it is a vaccine that's, that's you know, more difficult to, to achieve than other, any other existing vaccine has been so far. From all of the information that we've been learning recently with the uh, finding uh, new antibodies that can actually broadly neutralizing HIV, uh, finding out where they bind on HIV, we can translate that information into a more rational approach for finding an, an HIV vaccine. Certainly over the past five years, I have never seen a more collaborative nature in our field as I've, I've seen in more recent times. And there's really been, I'd say it's fair to say, an explosion of critical knowledge in the last five years. I think it's just a matter of perseverance and keeping the science uh, going forward. Ten years ago, I would have said there were five huge hurdles that could each be insurmountable. But now, it's one or two. For those of us who are empowered and passionate and uh, driven, it's also our responsibilities to wake up those who think there is no hope. And I think what can give more hope than knowing that a vaccine will happen one day. Because it's going to be a great contribution of science to mankind, and I would definitely in a very small way like to be a part of it. Worldwide, this is what will make the real X factor difference is a vaccine. That's the, the sort of the real star prize. When we get an HIV AIDS vaccine, we actually see this as empowering women. The migrant workers will not be able to go back home and infect their spouses. Young girls who are forced into marriages to older men will be protected from HIV and AIDS. Women will no longer be in a position to pass the HIV virus to their unborn children. The youth who are at the age of experimentation will be fully protected and eventually we shall be talking of getting rid of HIV AIDS completely. That's why I commit to this work every day, because that's what I want to see.